Hello Mac Warriors, how is it going? Welcome to another episode of Mac Warrior 5 Mercenaries. Guys, we have a bunch of repairs to do as per usual. So when you take a look at this, uh, you can see our Atlas is not in the best shape anymore. And the other one is just the need of a bit of repair. Anyway, uh, our conflict zone says that's a hundred percent more cost in the system. And uh, we also have to increase our reputation in order to get more contracts done. We can play this one here, uh, the three mission operation, eh, more or less, or we play demolition, or we play another thing that I want to do, because they usually bear very good equipment and uh, items. So what we do is, we're gonna go and take a look at the star map, and we're gonna find the next big conflict zone that has a high reward quest in there. And hopefully we can find an industrial hub on the way there. Uh, it doesn't seem like it. Okay, so we're gonna go to Colfax, it's uh, tier 10. We are tier 11 up there. Wait, is this all tier 10? This is 11, so we can also go to Sheridan. Hmm, you know what? We'll do both. That's what we do. Set course, 55 days, why not? So, it's another financial report uh, that is uh, taking 700,000 sea bills from us. Yeah, <laughs> great. But hey guys, we have to eventually get into, into better space and um, get better, better max and bigger stuff. And therefore, we're playing False Flag. Ah, oh, that's an Auto Cannon 20 and an LRM and an SRM. The important thing is that we get the reputation out of this year. So, the great houses of Steiner and Marek enjoy a stable relationship that produces enormous and prosperous economic exchanges. Attacks still continue on both sides as each nation conducts regular intelligence gathering raids across the border. However, the raids are increasing in intensity and frequency of late. A conjunction with SAFE, House Marek's intelligence agency, House Steiner's Lyran Intelligence Corps has discovered an unknown organization sending battle mechs on raids while painted in the other house's colors. It's speculated these false flag operations are an attempt to drive our two houses back into an all-out war. Your contract is to garrison two planets where a future attack is expected and hopefully you can eliminate the threat on both great houses. Cool. So yeah, this is why I want to get in here, because we're gonna get some nice rep out of this. 75 difficulty, not bad. I'll go for a bunch of salvage here. Yeah, and then a bit of repair cost and a bit of additional sea build. A million sea builds is a really good payout here. What we do though is, um, I want to check out the stalker here. I really do. I want to check out how our LRM stalker works. Then we have the other stalker. Defense mission is pretty good like this. Then we have an Orion, and then we have uh, maybe an Archer for some more LRM support. Oh, we could be pretty long-range oriented here. I like the idea of it. Bit of direct fire would be good though. Uh, yeah, we'll do it like this. Because uh, sometimes those pesky flyers and tanks, um, they are coming in and they need to be removed by PPC and auto ultra auto cannon fire. So that's gonna be good. And I would say... Um, ba -ba -ba, checking out the uh, the Max and the pilots respectively. You are five days injured. Can I wait for that? I can. Cool. So let's um, confirm the lands and start the mission. I want her here because she is a 52 pilot, and uh, I want to train her into higher, you know, skilled territory, so that I can keep her for a longer while. We're expecting raids to potentially take place out on this agricultural facility. Okay, how does that work? Alright, the weapon groups are set up quite nicely. I want to make a change here that looks like this. Alright, let's go guys. Let us go. Let's defend that base, and it's a pretty stretched out base. Buildings here on this side, then we have a farm here on the left. Alright, let's go. Remember that your contract is to protect as much of this facility as possible. We'd much rather pay out your contracted bonuses than reconstruct extensive amounts of the facility. Alright, let's go guys. LRM carry on the back. I got some LRMs too. Yeah, that's good. Feels good. Two of them destroyed already. Not too bad. I'm gonna go for the Phoenix Hawk. Phoenix Hawks are great target. Wait, is this the mission? It very much, much looks like the mission from the demo. The Warzone mission from the demo. As in the setup that we have here. This thing is so hot. But it deals so much damage. Love it. Oh, and we have a tag here. Of course, that's a good idea. Oh, the tag is gonna be so helpful. 
Got him. Get that guy. Get... No, that's... No, actually, I hit him. I barely deal damage here. But this is okay, this is really cool. Okay, go for this guy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I need to keep an eye on... Uh, how much the Auto Cannon 5 is shooting, the Ultra Auto Cannon. They are not double tapping so far. Guys, okay, down he goes. Um, I think I'll go for this Golden Wing next. And shut down my system, of course, because heat management is a thing that I don't care about, right? Ah! Uh, good kill! Very weird ragdoll, but good kill! Good kill! No, that's what I'm talking about when uh, when talking about taking out light mechs and, and flyers and so with the PPC. I think that was our... I think it was our Marauder here. Oh, this Marauder is doing a wonderful job. We need to put that into into consideration more. Having one mech with tag and then going all LRM because at the moment we are not losing any... any uh, armor, any components. Also gotta say that we are playing a, um, a defense mission, which means that the enemies are going for the buildings mostly, not for us. Tango has been tagged, that's perfect, thank you for that. Thank you for letting me know, by the way. Alright, so let's try to go for the Orion together. Doesn't stand a chance. And again, the Ultra Auto Cannon only flies occasionally. No double taps, no burst fire, not by the AI. This is so easy. Alright, I like it. Uh-huh. Come on guys, bring him in, bring them all in at the same time, because our mechs are in pristine condition and our base is in 88%. Let's go. Lazed? What did you laze there? Alright, yeah, SRM carriers, they have to go. We're gonna wait for the mechs and destroy those tanks first. Actually, we're gonna give you the order to attack now. I couldn't quite get him. Also, 700 missiles left. Maybe I should... I should be a bit careful with my ammo. Nah, we shouldn't be. Should we? I don't know, I cannot really estimate for how long we still need ammo. If I can be that easy on my ammunition consumption. Yeah, that's because my people are running through it. Ah, uh, come on guys! Everything was so fine and now you're ruining it. I'm ruining it. Come on! This cicada wouldn't die. What? We got so many good back shots, but we couldn't finish him there. Ow. Nah, uh, you know what? Let's laze the Marauder. Let's go for this guy because he is scary as hell. We are still at, what, 70% of the base and we have seven enemies to kill. Alright. What about our ammo? 260! That's not much anymore. I gotta use my lasers more. Dead. Alright. You're also almost dead. We'll take the side also there. Tripling him. And now he's hopefully punching out. Or he's dying. Okay. SRM carrier! Okay. So, what now? Um, we have 23 out of 27. That means that we have to kill two more after this, which is actually three. And... Where are they? Probably some, some tanks in the outskirts there. I don't know. Maybe they're dropping another lance or... No, they wouldn't. It's only three enemies. So they are either hiding or they are stuck somewhere or... Looks like you got their attention. I'm showing multiple hostiles incoming... Oh, they're actually dropping three more mechs? I like it. And it's his old mechs. Yeah, instant stalker. Instantly going for the stalker. So, 180 shots left. Uh-huh, 140. Uh, almost out of... Ammo. Ow. Uh, that is... Oh my god, that's a big door. Yeah, you know what? We'll soften up the targets that we can soften up right now. Because, um, they are scary as hell. Here's a stalker, though. Let's go for it. 20 shots. 
Alright, he has no weapons anymore. There's a Warhammer, but I want to go for the Victor next. Oh, let's go. That's my ammo depleted, I would say, just in time. Yeah, AC20 is down, that's perfect. I'm gonna get him, boys. Nice. And now, what is that? A Warhammer. This is the moment where we actually receive some return fire. The Orion is getting beat up. Uh-huh. Guys, come on, last target. Yeah, give him hell. I'm just going for a Santa to also destruction directly. We haven't negotiated enough for a full Warhammer. It's not gonna happen. So I'm gonna settle with the stuff that we randomly get. And we go home. Oh, I love this mission, it was pretty cool. Having the Marauder with the tag, as well as some missiles on my mag, missiles on the Orion. SRM's on the other stalker though. Yeah, it's, it's cool, it's cool, I like it. I really do like it. We have to put the tag probably on the Archer, because there it makes the most sense. Ooh, not bad, not bad. We'll take the Phoenix Hawk here, I would say. And there are some LRMs that I would really like to pick up. Mm, the only big thing, big thing that we can pick up is uh, a jump tip, but I'm taking the medium laser tier 2. We still have mechs that are running tier 1 lasers, so it's fine. Yeah, that was perfect. That mission here was so damn good. Now, in terms of whew, money, we gotta go somewhere first. It's a war, two war zone contracts and the demolition up there? Hell yeah. But I wanna repair my stuff first. Let's go to Idle. Idaled? Idaled? Repair them, bring our Atlases back on point, and then we're gonna have a good time. I think, you know what? Maybe six medium lasers is a bit too much. Maybe we drop one medium laser on the on the Stalker and add the tag to it, and then just go crazy on LRMing stuff. Butter B? No, C1. It's a good mech. It's a good mech. Uh, this is also a good mech, obviously. <laughs> I need to buy the next Atlas, guys. I need to do it. Alright, let's, let's take a look around. Uh, what the hell, Captain Fuela? Really? I'll pick you up, thank you. Oh, and he's a cocky one. Alright, prepare for some snarky lines here. Um, next up, we have to buy the Atlas. Which mech are we gonna drop here? I don't know. The Thunderbolt? We haven't used the Thunderbolt in ages. Oh man, this mech. It was such a trusty mech for so long. I'm half tempted to drop the Rifleman instead of the Thunderbolt, but yet again, we didn't use that thing so much. Or the Grasshopper in that regard. Do we need PPC Max? Not really. Not really. I like mixed Max more right now. Max that can engage at different ranges. I mean, this thing can also engage at different ranges, but our Marauder, for example, does a good job at doing so. It's better than the Grasshopper, I think. Um, yeah, sorry, Grasshopper. You gotta go, and you gotta get sold. Oh my god. We will get another Atlas, guys. Our Steiner Scout Lance is coming in strong. Alright, as well as the Phoenix Hawk. I mean, we're gonna sell this Grasshopper as well as the Phoenix Hawk. Somehow I started the sentence in my head and didn't, uh, you know, say it loud and then finished it. Alright, that's a quick draw. Goodbye, quick draw. And now we're gonna buy another Atlas. Hell yeah! Awesome AT is also a pretty good one. It has uh, two large energy hardpoints and uh, two large missile hardpoints. The small hardpoint I'm not gonna even mention here. I know that I've mentioned it, I mentioned it, but still. It's, I think, one of the best awesomes here that you can take. It has a lot of options. That's what I like about Max. Um, yeah, we'll buy an Atlas, sure. Let's go. More Atlases, because why not? We got three out of four. So, let's take a look at... Ooh, that thing got shred. Yeah, we have to drop all of this, so... What do we take? Medium laser tier, what was that, 4? 3 was gone? Sad face, but we have some stuff... Oh, tier 3s that we can replace with. Mm, LRM 10, LRM 15. I'm also thinking about... Why not make this another support mech? Do we need the AC-20 on this? Yeah, we need the AC-20 on this. <laughs> what am I talking about here? Okay, three heat sinks. I think we had half a ton of ammo and that was it, right? That's a good support mech. I think I can easily put an AI into this, as you could see, uh, and just use it. Honestly? So if we are not using the big gun, if we are using something like an AC-10 instead, 
I think, and an LRM20 up here, I think my people won't shred the max so much. Which, which one is the best 20 that we have? Let me see. We have a 15 tier 4 or 20 tier 3. I'll do that. You know what? I'll do that. LRM30 plus an AC10. This shifts the range a bit back and hopefully my people won't brawl with the max so much anymore. Uh, putting it at risk. So that's the plan. Uh, let's go to ammo because we need LR uh, AC10 ammo. Two tons of AC10 ammo is fine. I think I want another LR... No, wait. We have three tons of LRM ammo. That is one ton per ten tubes, which is fine for me. And we are half ton over now. Um, hmm. Half ton over. How do we manage that? We are at max armor anyway. I think I'll drop some leg armor. I think we are rarely getting shot at legs. And a little bit of head armor, down to 24. That seems like a plan to me. Okay, let's make it a multi-range multi atlas here. This one is still fine-ish. We lost the laser and the heatsink. Alright, repair all. Put the laser on the thing again. Why not tier 3? Why not tier 3? We have it, so let's use it. Oh yeah, this is the new atlas. Okay, never mind. That's the new atlas. I mean, that thing? Um, sure. It's gonna be a brawler. We have one brawling atlas, we have one support atlas, and then one uh, multi-range atlas. I think this is okay. So let's put the AC-20 burst fire on here. Prepare for harsh repair costs. And then, yeah, let's go with SRM-6s. Two of them. Hello, brawl atlas. Have some fun on the front line. Where is the SRM-6? The good one. The, the better one. Alright, so SRM ammo can stay. We'll drop those real quick. Back to the legs. 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 Another ton of SRM ammo. Okay, and I will put single heat sinks into this because I don't trust the pilots. That's just it. Maxing armor. Two tons of AC-20 ammo. Is that enough? I think it's gonna be enough. Funnily enough, we don't have any single heat sinks anymore, so we have to go to the market and buy some. Uh, SRM ammo half is also a good thing to have. So, all the single heat sinks that are available, go back here, put four more in there. Oh, crap! Really? Really, really, really? I mean, what else will be put into the mag? The heat management is absolutely glorious now. We can't just shoot so often with this. Could also be an LRM or two. I think it's gonna be an LRM. No, it's got... I want the SRMs. Never mind. I will stay at track, on track here. But it doesn't make sense putting more heat sinks into this. It just doesn't. That's the problem that I'm having right now. The heat management is over 9,000 already. And since this is gonna be... Yeah, it is gonna be a support atlas. Whatever. Or a multi-range atlas. Let's take the 15... Let's buy the 15 stream here. Why was I on the market? It's a good thing uh, to have anyway, so I'm not even unhappy to buy that thing. A 15 and a 5. Or a 10? Let me think. A 15 and... A 15 and... A 10. That's a thing that I can go for. Yeah. So, drop a bunch of those singles. And then put two tons of LRM ammo into this thing. I'm a bit low. On, on LRM ammo in general here, but I think it's gonna be fine. So, uh, leg armor is gonna get dropped to like 78, that's fine. Got that, got a bit of front and a bit... Uh, actually, let's go and drop the head armor to 24. It's fine like that. Alright, we have a new mech. We have a new Atlas. I think the, the setup is pretty good. The AC-20 is gonna come in handy at close range and two tons of ammo should be enough because the AI is not gonna fire that AC-20 so often. So running out of ammo is, I believe, not a thing that's gonna happen there. So, repair mech. Just repairs, I'm very happy to see that. And then we're gonna dive directly into the next mission. Okay, okay, that's gonna be a repair here. Lost a single heat sink, alright. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna give you two doubles in the engine. Hell yeah. And then we can put one single over here. That's gonna make the build so much better. And so much more sustainable. Half a ton of AC-10 ammo might also be a good idea. 
Mm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. We were running out of ammo. But only very late in the last mission. Put one over here. Okay. And I'll grant you another double heat sink. Let's do it like that. Let's give him two. Why not? Alright, so this Atlas is gonna be is gonna be my oh <coughs> my Sunday ride. <laughs> Having all the good stuff in there. Oh my god. Repair that. And everything is fine so far. I'm still thinking about the tag, but now that I have issued all the repairs, let's go somewhere else and see what we can do. So, uh, catapult for sale, I don't want that. I have all the repairs issued. Anything else that I want? Let's check out the hero mech. I think our mechs still have enough time to be repaired here. Or oh, we have to spend a bit more time in order to repair all of the mechs. Let's put it this way around. And then we're gonna take a look at the hero mech. It might be something that uh, enables us to get more double heat sinks. And if so, I'd be very happy. It's an urban mech. No street cleaner. Please be K9. It is a K9! And another Atlas! Oh my god! <laughs> Alright, guys. Alright, I think I think we are settled. Atlas, Steiner, Scoutlands coming in. It's another RS. We have the K9 here. That gives us eight more double heat sinks. Um... Yeah, sorry Thunderbolt. I think you gotta go now. I think you have to. Sorry, man. It was, it was good. It was fun playing around with you, but that's the fourth Atlas for me. What can I say? I'm like, oh, sorry. Sorry, Thunderbolt. Love you, man. I really do like Thunderbolts, as you might tell. Uh, now we're gonna pick up the K9 first. Take a look at that. I mean, when you take a look at this here, you will see you have eight double heat sinks now. Take a K9 if you find one. It also comes with an Ultra Auto Cannon 5, which is glorious. So, this is just so beautiful. Get back to storage. Go back in here because we instantly sell you. And now we're gonna pick up the last Atlas. <laughs> Hell yeah! It's another RS, so we have to do another mid-range build. And I would say, at this point, we are pretty much... No, I wouldn't say pretty much done. There's still some mechs to find. Ready, Commander. But we have a super big power spike now. I am very happy to actually uh, have come here. Uh, really. At some point, I need to think about how I want to paint my mech in order to distinguish them from one another. Alright. Um, since we have stated that the AI is not firing ultra auto cannons properly, it doesn't make sense to put one in there. Um, you really need to burst fire them in order to make them work, in order to justify what they are capable of. So, AC-10 down. That's gonna get down. Hmm. What do we have? AC-10 burst fire. Let's take that. Man, I really want to put some PPCs into the mech. Two PPCs and AC-10. But we needed a double... We have double heat sinks. Never mind. We have the double heat sinks. Hell yeah. Of course. Oh my god. This is gonna be such a great long ranger. I'm gonna make it a long ranger here. All the doubles. Like all of them. Um, Most of them. Let's say most of them. So... Finally, we can make use of our PPC tier 4, because that's gonna be really good. Maxing the ammo first. Now, we need two tons of AC-10 ammo. Let's put that in here. One, two. Perfect. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. Alright. Um, and then, huh, LRMs. As I was saying, this is gonna be a long-range support Atlas. I know, Atlases are supposed to be in the front line, in the engagement, like on the, in the in the middle of the fight. At the same time, this year, the RS variant, it is... it is just made for medium to long range engagements. With the two energy hardpoints that are large and uh, the medium autocannon, you have to... you have a certain maximum range already. And I really want to cater towards that. Alright guys, that's a uh, pretty decent heat management. I love it. I'm gonna drop it down to like 24 again, rest is gonna get stripped from the legs, go to 78. The rest is going into center torso armor again, yeah, perfect. It's gonna be my long range atlas, LRM5, LRM15 stream. Is that better than a 20? I mean, that's 9 tons investment. What about a single 20? That is 10 tons investment, so yes, you actually save a ton by ordering it like this. Okay, that's not bad. Start work. Hell yeah! 
So, I would say this is looking very, very solid what we have here. <laughs> Seriously, if I ever get into a mission where I have a drop limitation, I'm gonna cry. But this is gonna... This, I love it. I just love it. Anyway, let's go to the next contract. Actually, you know what? I'm really thinking about going over here. No, I should go to Nest Nestor. Let's go there. I love it. 30, yeah, 34 days. At this point of the game, we really, 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 really need to get some more money. We basically used all of it in the shops now. Um, it's worth it, don't get me wrong, absolutely. But uh, I want to have a nice buffer of like 5 million sea bills in order to pick something up whenever I see something. And uh, yeah, I want to get that. So, war zone. Do we have enough battle mechs ready? It's gonna be Atlas plus Stalkers, so it seems. Yeah, it's fine for me. Why not? It's a war zone. Enemies come to us. We can use our brawlers. Sure, let's go. And it's for the Steiners. I do wonder why we are not getting higher reputation for the Steiners anymore. It seems like like we are here on the neutral or let's say recognized spot for ages so far. A bit of repair cost would be nice. All right. Um. We can turn up by 20, which is nice. And we we'll want to play this LRM thing again. It worked out pretty well, I gotta say. Let me see. I want to put one Atlas in there. Uh, it's five tones too much. So this has to drop down to an Archer. But then I would lose the tag. <laughs> or we go Triple Stalker. Two Brawlers. One LRM support, and then, let's say, the Orion again. Or the Marauder. I like the Marauder, I really do. Okay, guys, there you go. Let's go in and have some fun time in a war zone. I'm gonna be playing uh, the LRM Stalker once more here. Because I really enjoyed the playstyle. Sticking a little bit to the second line and, and, and shooting the priority targets down and then leaving it for my friends to finish them on the front line. That's a pretty cool playstyle. And again, we have the Marauder with the tag. Alright. I do believe, though, that the tag would be better off on the Stalker that we are playing right now. Beautiful! Additionally, while you hold them off, the Lyran commanders will run scans on your battle ROM recordings. Hopefully, it will provide some insight into who exactly our enemy is. Okay, can do. Why not? Let's go in there. Let's see what it is. And this looks like a nice canyon situation. Which could also be pretty bad. I mean, if the enemies are spawning on the hike. Oh my god. Look at that. Let's go for this guy first. It's war zone. It's not defense, right? So, we might just do that. But, um... Trying to save ammo early on, because we don't have unlimited LRM, uh, yeah, LRMs, long range missiles. And I think night vision would also be a good idea again. I really hope you like it, I really hope you, you can deal with that. Hello! Hello Jenner, you're dead. No, not quite. Why are you not dead? You should be. Finally! More Jenners. Kill them! Jenners have massive center torso hitboxes. They are so easy to wreck. Okay, so far so good. Yeah, there's a little one. Right behind the wall, so we're gonna break the wall. Okay, going for this guy. And the Locust. Wait, what? Oh! Nice! Okay, that was a bit messy, but it was okay. And we are not even in the... Oh, graphic glitches. Oh, we went critical! Ah, that was that. Uh, we're not even in the trigger zone of the war zone, so let's just get in there. And uh, get closer to the mark. What the? There was a light mech. A light mech showed up on my radar. I'm not entirely sure if my people killed it or if it was a radar glitch. Oh, drop trip here. I'm gonna need a bit of room in order to make my uh, line of sight work. I mean, I have long range missiles that are supposed to shoot at long range. So, I might as well. Oh, yeah. AC 10 burst! 
Let's try to take it out. Guys, where are you? I need your help. One. Uh oh, oh, Igor. Dead. Good. Yeah, get in there, guys. Got him, more or less. Also, I'm getting. What? Um, problems. Good. And one more. That was scary as hell. I didn't expect enemies behind me. Yeah, I hope so. Uh oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's not good. Can we lock onto this? We can lock onto this thing already. Very least they spawn behind the wall. Tag him! Kill him! Do as your commander says. Good. Next one is this one here. They really don't like me. Alright, I'm gonna go for the Thunderbolt in the back because I can actually pepper him with missiles. Oh, heat is a bit of an issue though. <laughs> Says it and instantly shuts down. I really thought I could bear another salvo. Okay. Thank you for not hitting me. And here we go. It's missiles here. And a bit of laser damage. Great. So. My target is elite with tag. Love it. ETA unknown? No, no, ETA is just right now. And here we go. Yeah, nice early engagement there. I'm still not sure if night vision would be the best thing here. I think it's... it is. Honestly, it is. Oh, cicadas again, huh? Shooting this guy. Nice. Not bad. Okay. Good job for the kill here. Or with the kill. Nice. Oh, more flies or tanks. Crawlers, actually. Nice. Down they go. Still getting shot from somewhere. Oh, it's you. No, it's not. No, 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 no. That wasn't the guy anymore. It was the rifleman. He showed up on the radar. He still showed up as an active pip, but it wasn't. Ah, oh, missiles away. I love this LRM playstyle. I think it's a nice change of pace here. Uh -huh. We're gonna go for this partisan. Instantly. Crap. And I think there was also an e or something. Never mind. There's a Thunderbolt. And my side is critical now. What the hell? Uh huh. Guys, where's your armor sharing? Okay. You go for this guy. It's not looking great. Alright, let's go for... Yeah, the flyers. They are thrashing my armor. Come on! Shoot! Good. And more tanks. Maybe I should stop engaging that early. Okay, got him. And I'm gonna stay at second, third, fifth line now. Because, ow. 95%. Chain firing. This looks so cool. Man, I don't want to lose parts of the Stalker. I really have to send in my teammates first now. Yo, guys. Regroup there. I'm gonna give you some support fire. Like this. Just like this. Good. Ah, oh, crap, Cicada. Alright. Not bad, not bad. One more shot. Good. Next is the Orion, definitely. Ah, oh, that's a flyer. Gotta take that. Uh, two enemies alive. That's the remaining two there. And then we have to find the back, like, right now. In terms of ammunition, I'm also, again, pretty low. Nice headshot on the battle master, by the way. I want to keep some ammo. So what I'm going to do here is, I will just... Hatch? Headshot? Did you headshot the battle master? I think so. There was, like, no chance that they would have killed him in a situation, in a, in a state that he was in. Other than headshotting him. 
Absolutely not. All right, damage report. Uh, the Marauder! No, 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 no! Guys, don't fight! What is going on there? Run! No, no, no! You don't mark anybody! No! Would you not mark anybody, please? Move! Come on! Move it! Don't engage anymore! Uh-oh, uh-oh. This is not looking great. At the very least, the Marauder is very close by. He's not the... the, the um... What's it called? Words, they elude me. Ah! It's not uh, the last chain here, the last uh, link in the chain. Now that was close as hell. But we made it. Without losing a mech. It was close though, it was very, very close. Oh, we are almost at, at, an, um, at the reputation 12 there. And yeah, we have a battle master available, but we cannot pick it up. Oh crap. Anyway, that's good. We can pick up the LRM-15. There's also a PPC tier 3. It's not bad, but I'll take a medium laser here. Okay. Man, that was super, super close. Luckily, we finished the mission. And... A closer look at the footage you captured has given us some concrete data regarding the situation. We are working on some models and we'll get back with you as soon as we have something to share. Oh, that's that! Cool! We are vulnerable now! Yeah! Alright, alright, alright. So I think I have to talk to Rihanna now again, right? Isn't that the thing? Well, what's my main goal now? No, we still have to take contracts and expand your company. Oh, that's weird. False flag part 2. It's another auto cannon, an LRM, and an SRM. We can accept those, like, multiple times now? It seems cool. Although the attackers have tried to obscure their identity, SAFE believes it has un unmasked them. Ah, they are suspected to be members of a Draconis elite strike team from House Kurita. How they managed to infiltrate so effectively is still unknown. Unfortunately, if a member of this team is defeated and apprehended, they will carry no elements on their person that can be tracked to the Draconis combined, thus avoiding an international incident. So the only way to stop these false flag raids is to destroy the Dest Squad outright, especially uh, their leader. Dracon Draconis Elite Strike Team, yeah. Um, um, if even one operative escape, they will foment war and rebellion along the border for years to come. This kill order has not a command we issue lightly. Is not a command we issue lightly, but the price must be paid. The Dest Force must be destroyed. They are none as fanatical or skilled as Dest operatives, so be, be wary. Yeah. Alright, guys. We're gonna accept that, but this... It's a story for a different video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.